Heading into jail for the day. out of jail there's a lot of traffic on the way here but hi i'm anna if you do not know me yet i'm a mental health clinician in a youth detention center so i work with incarcerated adolescent males and i am a social worker with my msw fingers crossed in progress of getting my lmsw my license but we're kind of just waiting on that right now but i just did weekend i did a weekend at an extra facility that i'm just providing extra help at the weekends are a little bit different than the regular day-to-day -day, obviously like during the week and not everything is basically just like the highest triage needs that we focus on over the weekend so i don't do any kind of like counseling sessions or anything like that over the weekend it really is just checking on kids who may be higher risk for whichever kind of reason that is just making sure you know the vibes are right you know checking on kind of just everyone walking around making sure that all is okay all is well sometimes there'll be assessments that come up if like new intakes come in or something like that and on the weekends it's usually just like if i get the chance to i'll start it so today i started one and i'll probably finish it tomorrow but all of that being said i currently am at the library i decided to stop by here on the way home because i have one of my books that's due today and then i finished another one so i'm just going to turn them both in i have a couple books on hold but i don't know if they're actually ready to get picked up yet so i'll just have to see you whenever i go in there but i finished this book and i mentioned it in a previous vlog whenever i was starting it a flicker in the dark by stacy willingham it was really good it was a slow paced book but i didn't find myself trudging along through it like it's very character driven and slow paced so it's not at all like a page turning thriller with like crazy plot twists and stuff like that like there are a few twists but a lot of it is spent in the main character's head but it's a woman who's a psychologist but when she was 12 her father was accused for and has been in prison since for the kidnapping and murder of six girls and so like that's her past she had to grow up then like coping with the fact knowing that her father did that and was accused of that and is in jail for that and then whenever she is like a psychologist and has her life kind of together you know then it's girls start going missing again in some ways that she is suspecting seems pretty similar to what it was like whenever her dad was doing it so it's just like kind of a journey like that you're in her head like I said very character driven pretty slow paced but it was good I think I gave it four stars on Goodreads I'm pretty sure the other book I'm returning is The Identicals by Ellen Hildebrand Ellen Hildebrand is just like such a good summer read I feel like all of her books are this one's more a backlist of hers and that it's from 2017 but basically it's just two twins one lives on Martha vineyard and one lives on Nantucket because a lot of Ellen Hildebrand's if not all pretty much most Ellen Hildebrand's books take place on Nantucket which just makes me and I feel like everyone else in the world want to visit Nantucket but the twins basically just stuff is happening in their lives where both of them are not really in great situations and they end up kind of switching places for a summer and like having different tasks on the other one's island and so it's cute like it's following a family there's like drama involved it's nothing too too high stakes you know so it was just kind of a good like escapist novel you know what I mean where I could just like open the page and I'd be on Nantucket or on Martha's Vineyard and just living my best life over there so both of those were good I'm gonna see if they have any books ready for me if not no worries and then I had to get on with my Saturday you know really switch from work mode into real person mode after work So they didn't have any of my books that were on hold ready, but they did have a little book sale that was going on today. And so I got this cute tiny version of the first Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, for one single dollar which I thought was very cute. A lot of this stuff was very picked over because it had been happening, like the book sale had been open for I think four hours before I arrived, but thought that was cute. I do have a little Amazon package here that I wanted to open. There's a couple things that are supposed to be coming today. I thought they were all coming in one package and I think it actually seems like it's going to be two. So I don't know what's in this one, but I did get a couple new workout type things that I'm excited for. And I would love if one of them were here so I could wear it whenever I go work out, so little unboxing for those who have said that they like those 
or unbagging. Oh, I always feel so guilty getting <laughs> stuff that's packaged, <laughs> like the plastic and everything. Okay, this is one of the things. So if you've like seen me at all before, I have two bras, that I, sports bras that I've gotten off Amazon December of 2020, I believe. Zach actually got them for me and I wear them all the time because I love them. So I got the same brand, like Amazon brand of another bra. This one's more of like a tank though than an actual bra, but it has a built-in bra. So I'm gonna wear it today, see if I like it. Usually anything that I do like that I get off Amazon is linked to my Amazon storefront, which is always in the description. So if we do end up liking this, this will be linked there as well. There's shorts coming though. I really wanted the shorts to be here. That's okay, this will be good. to mention this i was planning on starting off the vlog kind of talking about this but i know that i have previously mentioned how august is a ridiculously busy month for me because my second job which is act and sat tutoring has more hours like i signed up for more hours and then on top of that i'm still getting the extra help at the other facility which is why i'm working this weekend but what i didn't realize is that basically just long story short this past week so today's saturday so from sunday to saturday i clocked 65 hours of work and that was just between jail and my tutoring job so not even including anything youtube related so that being said it was a heck of a week and i just feel like my feet were not under me and i honestly like, hardly even remember the week because it was just so go 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 and draining why i ended up being that way is because both of the classes that, like i'm teaching two different sections right now both of their midterms lined up being in the same week and the midterms are 15 minutes per student and I'm teaching I think like 54 students it is between the two classes and so I just did not count on all of that lining up into one week because as you know like my social work job is part-time and my tutoring job is part-time but for this week my social work job was 34 hours and my tutoring job was 31 hours and like i said that's not even including youtube work because i did a lot of that this week too so that being said i was very grateful to have like today and tomorrow and even this upcoming week where i'll just be able to get my feet more back under me because i've like i feel so so grateful for zach this week because he really took it on himself to be making dinners and to like tidy up pick up that kind of stuff like he just made sure that i was able to do everything that i needed to do but i feel like there were quite a few days this week that it was like wake up work until i go to sleep <laughs> and i'm not trying to do that um ever again <laughs> that being said my second amazon it's the same order like i didn't go crazy with the orders they just sent them in two separate things but it's here I also got, and I don't really feel the need to like show this necessarily, but I also got, I think 64 rolls of toilet paper, like definitely toilet paper in bulk and then also some dish detergent. So kind of the more boring things. I do feel like with being post-grad now and like actually having an income, it's so, so different from grad school. And most of the time, whenever I like tell people what I make, it's like, oh, as if it's really low, which like it is pretty low for a master level position. I make $25 an hour, but coming off of only ever in my life I've been like a student and so having very very minimal income is that anything that is on top of like the student lifestyle because you know like I mean I guess I don't know if everyone's experience is like this but for instance like in college I was working two jobs at that time too and like just enough to get groceries and like I didn't have enough to do extra things like get a whole lot of new clothes or like go get my nails done or go crazy at the grocery store you know what I mean like it was definitely a very tight budget and then in grad school school too it was a little bit better because my tutoring job did provide me with more money than I had originally thought and I also had some savings from working full-time the previous summer but it still was the same thing where like I could start to splurge a little bit like as you know I started getting my nails done and that was a big thing for me and I feel like whenever we're getting groceries it's like I don't necessarily feel bad to be like oh like we can get stuff beyond just the essential sometimes or like 
getting new clothes like sometimes I can do that so like grad school was definitely more a step into like kind of comfortable adult life and then even though like I said my income is not high right now at all <laughs> but I do feel very lucky to be like in the position that I'm in and because I've lived on such low income like just with student lifestyle and everything up until now it does kind of feel like there are things that I have like put off buying or just like haven't gotten that I'm slowly starting to kind of just like knock off my list and so not saying like these things I'm about to show you aren't like the big important things but even stuff that's like socks like I haven't bought socks <laughs> since my sophomore year of college <laughs> And so recently, like in the past few months, I started actually throwing away socks that have holes in them. Like if I wear them and I'm like, oh, my entire foot's popping out here, then I've been throwing them away. And just now I'm like getting down to kind of like sparse in the sock area from throwing away the broken ones. And so it's stuff like that that I'll show like as I'm getting it. But I do have, I haven't like actually made a list. It's more just like a mental list, but you know, things like socks and underwear that it's like, no, I'm actually gonna make like a purchase now where I can have stuff like that. Or I don't know, it's like, like being able to put my income places and not feel like I need to just like hold on so tight to it because there is more of it coming in because I'm only working now you know all that to say what I just got off Amazon is I finally succumbed to getting hair clips now they've been a thing for so so long and like back being a trend for so so long and I'm I've never had any hair clips but also part of it is because whenever I had my long hair I was just like there's no chance that any kind of hair clip is gonna hold this hair and I feel like now that I have less hair there's more chance of it so basically the pack i got is just four different colors there's this teal one black one this is kind of like a light mauvey pink purple and then this one is nude back here i still got a shape that people were saying was good for thick hair and i mean you can see that it opens wide i do feel like my hair is thinning but i do have still like overall pretty thick hair so <laughs> now we're just throwing that in there i don't actually think my hair is thinning but you know when the size like how you can lose them. Like I'm definitely getting where you can just like see my scalp more. Maybe it's a thing with age <laughs> now that I'm old. I guess I've never tried to do this before. Oh. That didn't work. I'm gonna have to perfect my technique. You'll be seeing it probably in the week coming, me trying to perfect. And then I also got just like some workout biker shorts in purple. Cause like I said, I haven't like really been buying necessarily fun things or I've just like really had to justify every purchase that I've made and this was like no I just kind of want fun purple shorts as I just said that I realized how many purple shorts I have but I, you know what I mean like <laughs> wait just a second Literally the two shorts that I wear like most in this world are these two Under Armour shorts. Both of them I got in high school, but they're literally both purple shorts. Oh yeah, I'll try these tomorrow whenever I'm working out. And if I like them, they'll go on my Amazon storefront. Same with the clips. So back on the 65 hours working this week type thing, my laundry had really gotten out of control, even just with like half clean stuff because I feel like whenever I wear clothes to work like if I'm wearing dress pants for a day I don't feel like they have to go in the laundry after just that one day but I also don't always take it on myself to hang them back up because it's like well I already wore them and so this week was just a big like victim of that whole situation where I had so many half clean clothes just all over and so tonight I took a while to put away all the clean clothes but then also put away all the half clean clothes and then I also finally like folded and organized my dresser that I got a couple weeks ago this brown bag is stuff that I'll eventually donate but as we know based on my history on this channel sometimes it takes months for me to actually get to donate in the stuff that I say I'm gonna donate with this dresser though I have jeans all in here just five <laughs> I have my dark green jeans black jeans my light pink these are like kind of farmer loose straight leg jeans and then these are ripped jeans from nasty gal i have like comfy pants in here and so there's like sweatpants some joggers yoga pants some you know that kind of vibe in here i have shorts and leggings all of it fits in here and so i have workout shorts and workout leggings for the most part. I put more of my like non-workout leggings down in this drawer. Here I have all of my like bras and sports bras. Up here is my sparse sock drawer. That's all the socks I own. You recognize that comrade sock? The bright orange one kind of sticks out. And then up here is where underwear is. And then Zach has these two drawers. So that's been fun. Feel good being organized. And I kind of wanted to see if I could finish my book tonight. I don't know if I'll be able to. I'm on 178 right now and there is 237 
pages. I could probably do that because what? It's 8.29 right now. We'll see. But basically, this is the book that I talked with Zach about in the weekend vlog that got posted recently. It's The Scent of Burnt Flowers by Blitz. The last name's like covered up by a sticker. First name Blitz though. And it came out late June of this year. So this is like a fresh book. It's about a black couple who got into an incident in Alabama. And the summary kind of like insinuates that it has something to do with racist white people in Alabama were coming at them in some type of way. And some sort of incident happened where now this black couple are fugitives and the man happens to know the president of Ghana because they were like college roommates and best friends in college and so they run away to Ghana and then are like going on this trek to find the president and that's kind of like what was given in the summary based on that I thought there was going to be a lot more in like 1960s Alabama which is honestly kind of the part that I was interested in reading the historical part about it but what it turns out and this is not a spoiler at all what it turns out is that they're actually from Philadelphia they just like happen to be in Alabama so it's like we're in Philadelphia we're not actually in Alabama but then also the story starts and we're already in Ghana and so the way that it's told has kind of gotten kind of old to me to where it's like I keep imagining in my head it's like fade to black scenes where it's like we're following the narrative of them in Ghana right now but then it'll be like she noticed that this little boy was wearing a blue shirt and that reminded her of her childhood and then there's like a few spaces and then we go into like this childhood memory for a while and then we go back into the current narrative and it's like we continue in the current narrative until it's like and then the sky started to turn gray like a storm and it reminded him of that one fateful night in Alabama and then we like fade to black and learn a little bit about the incident you know what I mean so it's like <laughs> the storytelling is kind of turning me off just because it feels like it's so it's setting itself up to go back and forth instead of just like kind of naturally flowing you know what I mean but it's not bad at all and I started it yesterday I think and I'm already at 178 so even though it hasn't like been my favorite it has not been bad at all and I feel like I haven't read many books like it which makes it kind of interesting oh gosh I love getting notifications when people comment it's Michelle that just commented on my last video so I know sometimes I'll like mention youtubers that I like and love watching their videos but Michelle Alvarez is definitely one of them if y'all want to check her out she lives in California and does a lot of I feel like it's like fun that girl routine type vlogs I feel like those are the words that like go with it. like the ones I remember from Michelle's channel or stuff that's like how to have like a perfect picnic on the beach or like fun reset videos or just stuff like that anyways all of that being said all 15 minutes of that being said I'm going to get reading so I can see if I can finish this book tonight there's no particular reason why I would need to finish this book tonight other than just now I've set the goal for myself Heading in for another day in jail. Look, I tried. Can you see it? <laughs> I tried the quad clip. It took so long to get it to hold. So I think like obviously this works. It doesn't feel super secure, but I was feeling like it was going to be easy because I had the short hair now. So the thickness wasn't going to like put it off. But to get all of the all of that into the claw clip took forever but also that was like my first time trying it so i may still be coming a claw clip girly we're just gonna have to see the progression we're going to see how it goes i did feel like a little coastal grandma despite the all black as i was walking out though because i have like my huge cardigan on so i was all wrapped up in it got my little sunnies got my claw clip you know feeling myself this morning <laughs> and my grandma type vibes this cardigan is one of the ones that i got at ross this past weekend that was literally ten dollars and i've been living in them ever since because like that's so comfortable and it is super modest for jail which is definitely a love of mine it's 65 degrees this morning which honestly feels like the arctic not for real but like it's been forever since i felt like even the slightest tinge of coolness in the breeze so i don't know why that happened because i don't even think it rained last night but maybe it's fall now i say is it still gonna get like up to 100 today maybe it's fall
because I'm so young, hip, fun, and cool, after work I met Zach at a brewery, Sweetwater Brewery, and you know, sat around, bashed some nachos, absolutely bashed them by myself because Zach couldn't eat them because they had gluten too. And then, oh wait, work today. So work today, I actually stayed there longer than I feel like I ever have on a weekend at this facility. And I was there, I arrived probably like 8 45 and i stayed until 12 20 or so and i was kind of working like i just wanted to make sure you know that i got everything done it felt like routine though which was kind of nice like it was a good day of work like there was a bit to do but it wasn't i don't feel overwhelmed i didn't feel stressed so that was a good fun feeling and now i'm at kroger because i want to see if they have peach kombucha that literally is like my only reason why i'm here is for peach kombucha so fingers crossed wasted time It is about two minutes until my class that I'm teaching starts and I just now went over the curriculum and figured out everything I was teaching today. I know it all, but it's been a second since I've taught it. So everything should be good. It's just three hours tonight instead of four. p.m. so we'll go ahead and get started just to give a little hint into how yesterday ended and today is beginning is our water is turned off it's been turned off since 6 p.m. last night so I showered at like 5 30 got out at 5 35 or so and thankfully I was just fine but They've emailed us uh, about six last night and said due to an emergency situation, which I get emergencies happen. Doesn't mean they're not inconvenient, but they happen. Due to an emergency situation, the water was gonna be turned off for three hours. And that was at 6 p.m. last night. And it is 7 a.m. the next morning and we still don't have water. So thankfully, I filled up my hydro jug before all of this happened, not knowing that it would become literally my lifeline. And so about to brush my teeth with this water again. I tried to wash my face last night with this water. It just like did not work. <laughs> It did not work. I just spent the morning ordering new protein because I'm almost out of my organ one that I got and they have a really good sale going on right now. I don't know when it ends, so you might as well go and check. But I got two two pound proteins for $35 total, like shipping, tax, everything, $35 total, which feels pretty good. I decided to be a little extra today with the outfit. Wearing a whole blazer and everything. This shirt under here, I really like the color of it. It's my first time wearing it. I got it thrifting in like April. I've never just worn it before. I don't for real know why, but it was, I think the brand is like Liz Calbrone. You know that, you know that brand? But I got it thrifted. And then this blazer also thrifted from the same store. And then these pants also thrifted, but from ThreadUp. I'm gonna take my water ration to work with me today. And it's gonna be a great day. Stuff they don't use utensils for those. Yeah. You know me, gotta put on a lot of hot sauce to taste anything. <laughs> Look how nice this was. Our water turned back on at 3.30 today, so it's like 5 now, so it wasn't while I was actually here that it was still off, but this morning, as we already talked about, was all the way without water. So they delivered little waters to our door. I also filled up my hydro jug at jail again today, because at that point I didn't know that it had was going to be turned back on. Somehow I feel like I'm gonna be getting a package a day like <laughs> this week, but it's just, it just happens to happen out where a lot of stuff is arriving. This though, feels like a book, I'm gonna have to see. It is a book. So I started entering Goodreads giveaways again. If you may remember, it was like this time last year whenever I would spend like a lot of time each day. Like I would enter like every single giveaway essentially that Goodreads had. I'm not necessarily doing bad again, but I did go through a phase where I stopped winning them and I think it was because I never actually reviewed the books that they were sending me, but I've made it an effort to start reviewing them again. And so this is a book that I got. It comes out in October of this year, which just makes me feel so fancy to get like the advanced readers copy. Like, okay, I think it's... World War II. And for some reason, I have found that I really like like historical fiction, World War II, like stories about women. Somehow I've liked every single one that I've read pretty much so far. Uh, gotta open up a cold one after a long day's work. Oh. Mm. 
Got a medic self medicate. Uh, it's, it's my bottle, it's not yours. <laughs> yeah, we each had two. Should I tell them how you tried to cancel on Chipotle? Riddle me this. You just ruined my day. See, the thing is, I gotta edit this, so I gotta edit out whatever I want to. <laughs> we should leave that part in there too. Be like, I'm fake news. I'm not reporting the facts. No, the facts are that Zach emailed me today while I was in jail and said that he had a buy one, get one free from Chipotle. Do you want to go to Chipotle for dinner tonight? Of course the answer is yes. In the yes. context of we didn't have running water, so I didn't want to cook anything more. Of course the answer was yes, I love Chipotle, and as soon as my mind gets the idea of Chipotle in it, I get so excited for it for the rest of the day. The salad that I packed for lunch today was absolutely disgusting, and so I only ate like half of it. So I get off work and I'm starving, very ready for Chipotle. I text Zach again. <laughs> I text Zach again and ask when we're going to Chipotle because I'm really hungry and I get met with a, oh, that was just because we didn't have water on. So he canceled on Chipotle, or he tried to cancel on Chipotle. A little back and forth later, he decided that yes, we could still go to Chipotle. So we did get Chipotle for dinner, of which I'm very happy for. But I feel like that's reasonable to be bummed about as if you're playing on Chipotle the whole day. And just because the water came on doesn't mean that that's canceling Chipotle. But don't worry, I did get Chipotle. Today was a good day at jail. I feel like a lot of it was just kind of waiting around. That's something which they're just kind of unique parts of every place that you could possibly work. But one of the things obviously with jail is that whenever like I'm trying to see kids or anything, they don't get to just come and I can't go get them. It's like we have to work with the security team to bring them up to where I am. And obviously sometimes like they have people call out, they may be shorter staffed, they're doing other things, they're handling other things, whatever it may be. And so they don't always come whenever you're expecting them to come. And so I feel like today was kind of a day like that where I was kind of like sitting around waiting for them to come, which is fine because then I was just playing face 10 on Facebook <laughs> and doing Goodreads giveaways with my time, etc. But overall a good day, no complaints. Ate part of my Chipotle. I do think I'm gonna work out tonight. It's just hard to gear myself up. I have to like lay and cool off from the day and then I can go work out. Slip on solid ground so I can drown the thought of what I don't wanna think of right now I give in to your sense of direction and you just walked all over me so I can accept your offer for protection but I don't wanna think about Trying to trace my old tracks. I always love you most before you leave. These days I find myself ashamed. You, you were you asleep head on my knees. I'm writing songs about missing you, but it won't feel like I'm missing paradise when I'm missing you. Another day, another clock clip. Trying it out again today. I made a cutie little to-do list. I forget who I seen. I think it was Selena Trevino on YouTube that I saw make a to-do list that looked like this with the like little emojis and everything. And so on, you know, Tuesday, my day off, I was like, well, I'm gonna make myself a little cutie to-do list too. Cause there are quite a few things that I want to get done today and some that I've already gotten done. But since I have two days off in a row too, it kind of lessens some pressure where it's like, well, I don't have to do everything. I can just do some things and some things can be fun and all of that. So on the to-do list. The things I've already done is we did go work out this morning. Didn't take any kind of footage of it. Wore my purple shorts again because I love them. They're in the wash now so I'll honestly probably be wearing them again very soon. Today I just did an upper arm pull day, another Sydney Cummings workout because my brain doesn't function at 5.15 in the morning when I show up to the gym and so I can't pick what I do but Sydney can pick what I do and it's great. And then I also prepped tutoring because I do tutor tonight tomorrow night and Thursday night of this week. This is my second to last week doing all of those nights though, which I'm very excited for. Because remember it's just August is the heck of a week, but we're in the third week of August now. So I'm getting there. And I definitely feel like last week was the big hump to get over. Even just like meeting the halfway point was really helpful. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this week, 
Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. And then it's just Wednesdays from then on out. It's not the Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday mess. The other things to get done today, cleaning, big cleaning. This is a part that just like has fallen off, especially because I've been so busy, but like our kitchen needs to be cleaned. I need to vacuum. Our bathroom needs to be cleaned. We do have water back. I know I mentioned that, but just still want to emphasize that we do have water, which is incredible. Oh, I just covered like the next to-do list items. So clean kitchen, clean bathroom, vacuum are the big ones for today. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's because it's been so long since I've gone to Trader Joe's and Trader Joe's on a weekend just isn't gonna happen because it happens for everybody. You know, that's when the lines are like wrapping around the store and everything. But on a random Tuesday morning, that I have off, but the rest of the world doesn't necessarily have off. Definitely gonna go to Trader Joe's. They opened five minutes ago, but I'm gonna wait just a little bit so that I miss any kind of people going to work type traffic because the Trader Joe's in Atlanta's in Midtown, so it can get congested pretty quick. I have a video that I wanna plan, and at first I put on my list, plan, film, edit, and then I was like, why would I plan, film, and edit an entire video in one day whenever I don't have to? And I can just plan it today, and then tomorrow, it can be the tasks of edit and film, film and edit. Laundry, which is going right now, there'll be a second load probably that's gonna go, and then my goal is to put it all away, get it all dry and everything today, just so that that's out of the way, taken care of. I wanna read today, I'm really liking the book, that I'm reading. I don't think I've mentioned it in a vlog yet, the one that like, I'm currently reading. It's another ARC, Advanced Reader's Copy, which makes me feel so cool, but it's really good. And so I feel good about recommending it for whenever it does. I forget when it comes out. Sometime this year though, I feel like it's kind of coming up. So I'll talk about that later if I actually do read when I read and then also tutoring for tonight. So that's everything on my to-do list. Obviously, if more things get done than that, perfect, but I think it's a good mix of fun, while also being productive. Cause the cleaning and stuff, it's like, I'm not really looking forward to that, but I can put on a good podcast, YouTube video, something, and just kind of get in the zone. Like cleaning can be a mindful activity if you treat it as such. But then I also know that once everything like clean and organized and everything, that that would just make me feel so much better. I did get several more packages, which I'll show you whenever I open them. One of them I'm making a TikTok for today. The other one I think I'm gonna be making a TikTok for sometime later this week. So they're both like PR. That's the thing, like I'm in my purchase era but then also sometimes things get sent to me which is fun and like sometimes as PR sometimes as gifted sometimes as paid it's really just all different if anything is ever gifted or paid though I will tell you yeah but with the the purchasing era that I'm in because I know I mentioned it neither yesterday a couple days ago I don't really remember since it's the middle of the month so I get paid well honestly I get paid quite a few times per month because my two jobs don't line up with their paychecks but with my social work job I get paid on the 15th and the last day of the month so the last day of the month those paychecks obviously go to the like beginning of the month charges so like rent utilities <laughs> Spotify the kids that I sponsor is the beginning of the month right now I'm paying for an EF trip that I'm taking next year just paying it like incrementally so that's the beginning of the month so basically almost that whole paycheck goes to the beginning of the month type expenses so then once the middle of the month paycheck hits that's when it is a little bit more not frivolous necessarily but like more can be directed to other places and then my tutoring paychecks are bi-weekly so sometimes it's twice a month sometimes it's three times times a month and those ones also kind of just go for the extra so I am working on saving I'm working on putting money in my Roth IRA I actually put money in my Roth for the first time last paycheck which was very exciting for me because I had started one I feel like even a year ago I had started one and I had never put money in it so they closed it for me because <laughs> they were like sister you're not using this and I was like dang it you know what you're right but this time I started my Roth IRA put a little chunk in there. So I am excited for that. People usually have questions about money and what I make and money in your 20s, money post-grad, all of that. And so obviously I'm big on transparency. That doesn't mean telling everything, but I am happy to be transparent about the type of money. But so far that's kind of just what my quote unquote budgeting system is, is like the last of the month paycheck goes to the fixed expenses and kind of covers them all with not much extra. And then the other ones are the extra that then goes to food clothes, protein powder, because I made another order of that, skincare, because I made another order of that today, another, that's like my first time, I'm, I'm really trying to up my game with skincare, I'm going to wait till the stuff comes in to include it in the video, but I'm really excited about the skincare that's upcoming, all of that being said, I think the laundry just finished, and so I'm going to do that, kind of clean the kitchen a little bit, that's where I'm going to start today, and then, what time should we go to Trader Joe's, maybe like 10 or so, like that gives me 50 minutes to clean, let's do that. <laughs> All 
All right, it's 10.30, so it took me a little bit longer, but I also just wanted to get to a good stopping point. But what I can knock off the to-do list, I don't know if I can do it where you can see too. It's gonna be good aim. Clean kitchen, done. <laughs> and gonna head to Trader Joe's now. That thing just happened, and by just happened, I mean I did it, where I was like taking my shoulder bag off of my shoulder, and I didn't realize I'd left it unclasped. And so I had one AirPod in my ear and one AirPod was in its case that was in the shoulder bag and the case fell out and hit the ground. And it took me like I picked it back up, got back in my car, opened it and realized that it did the thing where the AirPod like flies somewhere whenever they fall to the ground. And you know, like, I don't know how this happens, but they can fly far. Like they eject from the case whenever the case hits the ground. And so I just was like crawling on my hands and knees on, yeah, I'm kind of dirty, crawling on my hands and knees on the parking lot ground until I found it and it was like three cars away. <laughs> Enough to make you lose your sense Enough to make you lose your mind There's magic in the way he moves Always steady, ever wild And all this heartbreak he holds close Feeling in the way he sighs and Maybe there's a way to fake I can style my hands and shaking Every time I feel like a fool I didn't get too much, but most of it's special, and a lot of it was just like, I saw it and it looked good, and so I got it, but two unsweetened vanilla almond milks just because I needed that. There's spinach back there, so kind of boring on that end. I did get some cereal, just the Clusters vanilla almond granola cereal, just because I feel like the cereal is just always good at Trader Joe's. This was, I was going to the cereal and granola and just saw this and was like, yeah, probably. Organic toasted coconut granola bark. So we'll definitely taste test that. We're gonna taste test these. I've just been hearing lots of good things about nuts lately. And so I was like, well, I'm gonna get myself some nuts. So sesame, honey, almonds. I'm really curious. I'm really curious. We'll have to see. I got chia seeds because it's been a while since I've gotten chia seeds and I love putting them in smoothies and everything. I just feel like I haven't been eating like myself again lately and so I'm trying to get back to that. I got some apple juice just for making smoothies with and I did, I spent like, I think it was maybe two, 250 more to get the just unfiltered apple juice that's 100% juice made from apples instead of from concentrate because I don't know, I just felt good about that. So we'll go make some smoothies with that. Peanut butter protein granola. And then also with that, look at our organic creamy cashew cultured yogurt alternative plain unsweetened riddle me this this yogurt with the granola with strawberries on top maybe a little bit of honey just because this is plain unsweetened a little chia seed action right and then drizzle a little bit of cocoa almond spread on top that i'm gonna die that's gonna be so good. I got this little organic coconut smoothie. It's really tiny. Just a blended young coconut meat with coconut water. The reason I got this is because where I used to work at the juice bar had a coconut type smoothie kind of like this and it was really good. So I think I'm going to mix in like chia seeds, maybe blend it up with some fruit, just do something, but it looked cute. So I got it. I got this big thing of hummus and I was going to go back and get carrots. And I realized as I was setting this out that I forgot to ever go get carrots. So I have a lot of hummus now. And I guess I do have one thing I can put with them, this big old cucumber. It just, it looked like the perfect cucumber. That's honestly why I got it. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it, but I guess it goes well with the hummus. Vegan Mac, I feel like I have not heard about Trader Joe's Vegan Mac. So I am excited for that. We'll see if it's good. Dark chocolate covered cherries. Just absolutely love them. Along that same thing, like the same 
taste buds of what I love. Dark chocolate covered strawberry pieces. These are frozen and they're such a good snack. I forget when I got them last. I feel like it was June. Like I feel like it was right before I started my job is when I got these last. I think that was my last time at Trader Joe's to be honest. I've had these before, the dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. They're really good. But then I saw right next to them today was almond butter cups. So I figured I would try those as well. Obviously three bananas, you've been seeing those. And then I got two burritos because honestly, I think I'm just going to take them into work with me on Thursday and Friday. So we have pollo asado burrito and I had pollo asado. That was my Chipotle last night. So when I saw it, I was like, well, Chipotle was good. They're pollo asado. So I'm going to get a pollo asado burrito and then jerk chicken burrito. So overall, really good things. I forget the total came out in the 80s, which hurts. I feel like I used to get this much and it would be like $40 at Traders. I forgot to look if they have any candles. I was going to look at that. Oh, well, I think I'm going to go to Walmart tomorrow for a different reason. So maybe Maybe I'll look for candles there because the candles I have now I've almost burned all the way through and you just need some good scents sometimes in your life. The other thing that I was kind of hoping to get, you know how Trader Joe's released their face sunscreen that's apparently a dupe for Super Goop face sunscreen? I didn't want to get my hopes up because I felt like the chances that they like had it there and had it in stock and everything were pretty low and they didn't have it. But I did look for it because I ran out of my face sunscreen like a week or so ago and I feel like I've already gotten sun damage on my face just from not wearing it every day. But maybe I'll just get some at Walmart tomorrow too. But I thought it'd be cool if they had the Trader Joe's one, but they didn't. dramatic about it I was just sitting here I was going to just pull the blankets up to make the bed before so I could dump clean laundry onto it and I didn't realize but I guess one of the blankets down here was like on the floor and my camera tripod was right there and so when I pulled it it started to tip and my camera landed face freaking down on the bathroom tile um and I like there's some bendy things that are happening here. It's not cracked, but it, I'll show you. That's not right. Like it's supposed to be straight. Do you see that? Um, <laughs> I think this part's fine. I would have rather it landed on this part. I'm scared. Okay, so yeah, there's a crack right here. Uh... <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Let me emotionally and physically handle this. Should I try to turn it on? This has been such a good day. This was such a good day. I feel like I watched it happen in slow motion and I almost caught it. <sighs> I'm so scared. Are you ready? Wait. <laughs> okay, it's reading it wrong because it thinks usually that message shows up when it's all the way zoomed in and it's not that right now but as far as like picture goes uh, i'm gonna try to zoom it back in let's see what happens first of this problem is that it's truly just the lens that's broke and you can even see how topsy-turvy it is right here but the good part of that is i think that a lens is going to be cheaper to replace this is so sad i think that a lens is going to be cheaper to replace than a whole new camera look at it it looks like it got like sat on but really like when it fell the winds took everything and i think that it's just like this because it like hit so hard what are the fact that like, the winds cover wasn't even on it and that's not even broke it's just 
like this and so it's not letting it film i think it like understands something's wrong and then also it zooms in and out by this coming in and out and i can't do that whenever it's topsy turvy like this so i'm gonna do some research see what we're working with <laughs> it's been such a good day <laughs> This day has been an absolute roller coaster. I should have just made it its own vlog. I didn't know that it would um, amount to all of that, but I feel like you can tell that the tears are still like close to my eyes from that whole camera situation. I've been doing some research and I do believe I'm going to get a new lens. I'm kind of between getting the same lens that I have on it now or just taking the opportunity to upgrade. And if I did upgrade, it would be a wide angle lens. So I'm kind of just trying to like watch videos of people who have that lens and see like what it looks like and if I actually want that. And I don't know, cause I don't feel like I need better necessarily than the one I have but if it's a difference of like a hundred dollars when I'm having to buy a new lens anyways then maybe I might as well but the better one is kind of bigger too anyways anyways that's not why I came on to talk I wanted to share some very exciting news I wish that I wish the setup was better as I was sharing this very exciting news. But last Friday, August 12th, is whenever the board was meeting. Remember, I sent in my license application. I believe it was early July is when I actually sent it in. And I did get an email saying like something I was missing. And so I got that and sent it in. And they received it on july 21st i believe it was but then i never got any kind of like application complete like my application was never marked complete and so i wasn't sure if i was going to get reviewed at the august board meeting or not and they only review i forget if it's 12 or 15 but they only review 12 or 15 applications each board meeting and so the fact that i hadn't heard anything at all made me think that i probably didn't make august and it was going to be september fast forward to now you can probably tell where this is going but i went to open my email because i wanted to see if i got like a warranty or like protection on my camera but as soon as I opened my email, the first one that came up, the subject line is GA Composite Board, like Georgia Composite Board, MSW exam approval letter. Dear Ms. Schull, please find attached to your examination approval notice from the Georgia Composite Board. Please allow ASWB at least 24 hours to download and process your information before trying to register for the examination. As of right now, I have 365 days for me to take the LMSW exam. Now, obviously, I'm going to try not for it to be 365 days, but I have that amount, which honestly... Part of reason why I wish this came a different day is because now I'm like, oh, that's just more money I'm going to have to spend. But no, this is exciting for sure. I don't know. I guess I could try to log in and see. Let me go to ASWB. I, I don't know if it's like .com or dot, .org, .org. There's a chance that they won't have loaded my information yet, but I might as well see. Sorry, I'm going to have to move you. Is that my stress chest? Man, I didn't know I was feeling that stress. I just feel like today was like a very like average but good day. And then... All of a sudden a lot has happened okay no they haven't <laughs> they haven't done it yet so i just won't worry about that yet because i don't even know like whenever i actually go to register for my exam i don't know how far in advance like i'll have to schedule it because i think that they kind of fill up so i just i have no idea my original goal was by the end of 2022 but i am so i still kind of hope to meet that but also like i don't know when i'll be able to schedule <sighs> How did so much happen? I was about to say, let's do a little like to-do check-in, except my to-do list is on my phone and now I can only video from my phone. I'll pull up my notes on my computer. <laughs> How about that? Okay, look, you can see that I was looking at lenses. I think I'm gonna get this one, just in case that means anything to anybody, I think. So clean bathroom, I did vacuum. I vacuumed the parts that I cleaned. I think whenever I originally did this, it was meaning like the whole entire apartment. And I think I'm just gonna have that be a tomorrow thing because I haven't like cleaned the living room or anything yet. So I'm gonna check it off though. Anyways, I went to Trader Joe's. I no longer will be planning the video because I can't film it tomorrow <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I can't film it tomorrow anymore because I don't have anything to film it with. I mean, I guess my phone, but it's okay. I have videos lined up that can go live just in a different order. Laundry is what I was trying to put away whenever my camera broke. So I'll get that out of the way though. Um, so I'll do that. I think I'm going to sit and edit just for like self-care for a while on <laughs> this video because I'm excited for it. And then I'll read a little bit and tutor. Too much has gone on in the span of what, 30 minutes? That's good news though. Like that, I was approved to test. That's that's good news. Okay. I'm purchasing a new lens. It does hurt. It hurts the pockets a bit. Really just because it was an unexpected expense, you know? And honestly, I think where it hurts a little bit, because I will be able to manage it, but I was planning and was excited in the beginning of September. I was planning on replacing my laptop, getting a new laptop, because I've been using this one since 
2018 so it got me all the way through undergrad all the way through grad school and has like really slowed down like I can hardly do anything anymore which makes editing and everything kind of tough and so then in my head I was like I'm gonna treat myself to an upgrade like all of this I planned out how I was gonna pay for my laptop but I was gonna wait till September to do it so I could like make sure to have the right money in place and everything and I was really excited for it and this is gonna put me back like a couple weeks I think which is fine like longer of using this old slow guy and I think in my head it was like okay that was gonna be my fun YouTube upgrade treat and now I've been forced to upgrade a lens but I think I am excited for the lens too and obviously like I don't know camera quality is like one of those things like this phone looks fine right here like I don't, I don't think you care that this phone looks like this but it is just a fun way to kind of like tie a video together like make things look good and everything like that so I think I'm gonna try to do though oh actually it's not even offering it I was gonna say I'm gonna try to do like the monthly payments on Amazon just to make it hurt a little bit less but you know what this is this is a tax write-off <laughs> So there's that. Oh, it still hurts though. I'm sorry, but I do not have the bandwidth for <laughs> doing like the unboxings that I told you about earlier. So we'll just save that for a later vlog to show you the little products that were sent to me. I did just go pick up another Amazon package outside the door, but that one's just dishwasher detergent. So it's really just not that interesting. I feel like this was a good grand finale to this vlog. Is what like has it been four days it's been three days of a vlog and i think it's gonna have been really long so four days it was four days but still pat on the back for the content phone quality from here on out until my new lens gets here my forced upgrade but remember the good news is that i've been approved to take my exam so we just really we've been through a lot together in these past four days go ahead and subscribe now that we're trauma bonded together and i'll see you next time